All right, let's talk about ground balls. This is a very important part of the game, for sure. A lot of younger players overlook this, okay? Because when I, I can remember when I was young and I was playing in, in youth lacrosse, a big part of it was the ball was on the ground all the time because none of us could catch and throw very well. So I, I, you kind of make a decision either, one, you know, you can overlook ground balls and, and not worry about it too much, or number two, you can say to yourself, I want to be the best ground ball guy there is. Because I'll tell you right now, I've been around the game for a long time, and I can tell you that I played with guys that couldn't pass and catch very well, but they could scoop up a, a lot of ground balls and, and, and really benefit our team in the long run. They ended up getting college scholarships. So a lot of coaches will say, the phrase uh, ground balls wins games, okay? And I, I, I truly believe that because it's a, it's a big possession battle. If you have the ball more, then you're gonna have more chances to score, okay? And you're gonna have more chances to do a lot of other things in the game of lacrosse. The first thing that I think about when I'm picking up a ground ball, number one, okay? A lot of younger players will do this. They'll have their stick out in front of them, okay? That's bad for a couple different reasons. Okay, it's kind of funny sometimes to see younger guys that will go into a ground ball like this on some nice uh, natural grass and they'll get stuck and they'll get catapulted over, over their shaft. I laugh at that sometimes. Okay, other guys will have their stick out in front of them and that's going to allow a defenseman to check their stick. Okay, we want to position ourselves where we're protecting our, our lacrosse stick with our bodies. All right, so the first thing that I think about when I'm picking up a ground ball, number one, is I try and position my foot right beside the ball. Okay, so that is, is, is what I've done since I was very young, and it's trained me to protect the ball, okay, with my body. So that's my first move. Let's say I'm a dead sprint. First thing I'm going to do is put my foot right beside the ball. When I do that, okay, you'll notice I'm getting both of my butts down, the butt end of my stick, Okay, it's going to be down. I don't want it up this high because it's hard to scoop like that. Okay, and my butt is down. Okay, so my body is low. What that's going to do, that's going to allow me to get low. Okay, and I'm scooping through. And now, because I'm crouched down and I have both of my butts down, I can explode. Okay, I can explode to my target. So, what I really focus on after I get my foot in position. I get both butts down and I scoop through, okay? I don't want to bring my stick up here. That's wild, all right? And the defenseman's going to be able to check that away from me. So I want to step here, scoop through, and bring it right to my face mask. A good way to practice this is wear your helmet, okay? Make sure you're wearing your helmet when you're doing this one. And you want to bring it and pin it right up against your mask, okay? You can't do that in the game, but it's a good way to practice getting it up to your face. Okay, because you want your stick in control, and, and like I said, we're a big part of protection in lacrosse is keeping your body in front of your stick. So scoop through, bring it right to your face. Okay, that's what you got to work on. Okay, so if you want to be successful at picking up ground balls, we have to work on the three things that I just talked about. Okay, number one, the first thing I think about when I'm approaching a ground ball is I'm putting my foot right next to the ball. Okay, that's going to allow my body to protect it a little bit from the defenseman. Second thing, I'm getting both of my butts down, the butt end of my stick, and my own butt. Third thing, I'm scooping through, and I'm bringing it to a protected area. If you do those three things, you're going to be all set on ground balls.